I have a master's degree and I have been in the Army National Guard basically all but one year and the Army has allowed me to not only pay for college, I have minimal student loan debt, I have purchased a house, I have been places in the world that I never thought that I would ever be able to go to and the fact that I got paid while doing that was just the cherry on top. I have no desire to travel, but I've been to Romania, I've been to Germany, I have been places I never thought that I would be. And I am a Midwestern Kansas girl, came from a 3A high school and grew up in a town with 3,000 people. So that's a big deal. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are actually doing some like military videos because I don't know why I did my military story and then kind of never followed up with it. It is Veterans Day. I felt like it would be a good time to kind of just answer some questions and stuff that people have about the military. I mean, I think I get specific questions for me just because people are kind of shocked when they hear that I'm in the military. The question that I'm answering today is actually should I do the military after high school or should I go to college? So this is a question that I get asked kind of frequently and first off I want to start by saying I am not a recruiter. I will say that everybody in every branch is technically a recruiter because obviously if you're in you know information about what branch you're in and your branch is probably hoping that you're going to influence or impact somebody else about your career and hopefully get them to join. Basically for me it was kind of an awkward thing. When I joined the military I actually was in my second year of college I grew up in a very small, 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 small town. Jumping from a small town to a super ginormous college was kind of a big transition for me and there's so many ways that that can go for people but for me it went pretty well. Honestly, I'm shocked that I survived, but I did. College is super expensive. I didn't realize that at all, and my parents actually, I have a brother, so they have two kids that are a year apart, so it was like I was going to college and the next year my brother was going to college, and my parents are older, so I was like, I'm not okay with them taking out these loans. What do I do to help them? So. I started like asking other people and I don't even know how I came across joining the National Guard but basically one of my peers from high school was in the National Guard and I spoke to him about it and it seems like a week later I was signing the paperwork and like going to MEPS and doing everything you have to do to get into the Army National Guard. When it comes to wanting to know if you should join the military or if you should go to college, I definitely don't think that joining the military is a bad thing and I don't think that going to college is a bad thing. Like I said, I went to college for a year and then joined the National Guard. So it depends on what you see for yourself. If you know that you're not good at school and you know that it's gonna be difficult for you to finish or you know that like going to school after high school is just gonna be freaking difficult for you then by all means go into the military like they will talk to you about school no matter what branch you are in they obviously push you to try and be the best that you can be they're going to try and get you to go to school there's a reason why joining different branches of the military gets you assistance with college. You are basically set up for being able to attend college if you join any branch of service. So the National Guard though pays 100% of your college tuition if you work at the system right. It definitely is dependent on you and what you want to do. Honestly I think you've been going to high school for so long that 
going to college actually straight out of high school is a good option especially because your mindset is already in the mindset of like I gotta study for a test I gotta do this I gotta do this to make sure that my grades are right so having that mindset definitely helps because obviously you can't get the benefits of the military unless your grades are straight if I had to go back and do it all over again I would definitely say that I would have joined the military at 17 so when I was still in high school because now they have like a split option where you can basically go to basic training over the summer and then go back to high school finish high school and when you're done that following summer you go to your job training for the military so I would have joined sooner rather than later um, but it's never too late. If it's something that you want to do, go out there and do it because you only get one life to live. And if you're living there with regret, then there's, it's, you're wasting, you're wasting your time. Like do the things that you want to do. If you think to yourself, maybe this will be a good idea. Like get out there, ask questions, talk to who you need to talk to your recruiters, your peers, whoever it is that you need to talk to, to figure out if that's right for you. I recommend doing that. There's a million other things that can go into making sure that you're getting the full benefits from the military, but those are for another video. I'm just going to reiterate that when it comes to should you go to school or should you join the military, I honestly think the military is and has been a great experience for me even with the negatives. I still think that it's one of my biggest accomplishments and I recommend looking into every single branch and if it's something you're on the fence about, the National Guard is funded by your state. Joining the National Guard is definitely an option to really take into consideration and also the reserves I think um, they're federally funded but I think looking into that too, especially if you're like on the fence about going to college because those definitely leave a lot more time for you to be able to go to college because you go and do your one weekend out of the month and your two weeks during the year. And it's very easy to work around going to school and I can say that because I've done it. So I definitely recommend looking into it. So I'm not gonna keep blabbing on and on and on. I do plan to make more videos for you guys about stuff in the military because I don't want to leave you guys hanging and there's so much information that I just want to put out there about the guard and the military in general and what better way to do that than here on YouTube. So I'm going to stop blabbing. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I will talk to you soon. If you have any other questions that you would like to ask a veteran, leave them in the comments below, or you can also shoot me an email, snap me, DM me on Instagram. Uh, I think that's all the things. So I'll talk to you guys soon.